Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Christelle Martinet and I'm going to slack off the December dance readings because now I'm going to offer one at a time a peek into 2017 for each individual sign. So it's a long haul and what's going to happen for me in December, I'm, I'm planning to go back to see my family, I'm going to off put these out, the, the 2009 peaks and then the January readings towards um, sometime towards the end of the month or uh, the beginning of January. So there'll be a time where they'll be crystal silent. And so now I'm going to start these, <laughs> these um, 2017 peaks. Uh, just a word of how they'll be working. I'm going to be using the uh, Lenormand cards with a mini ta a grand tableau that I have invented with different houses that mean different things and um, the way I read that will be a gleaning certain things and I'll try to I don't want to get too technical on you and it'll take me half an hour just to explain what I'm what I'm doing but um, I'll get into the reading and give you the readings showing you the cards um, first of all on to the readings bye bye hi Leo this is Christelle Martinet with a peek into 2017 as promised for you, Leo, let me concentrate to see what the cards have to tell you to look out for or to expect in the year 2017, Leo. 2017, Leo. Okay, let me show you the cards. I have, this is a special uh, mini grand tableau that I have um, created because I've assigned different meanings to different areas of the cards, especially for the 2017 reading. This is the sun, the birds, the tree, the tower, the mountain, the ship, the house, the anchor, the snake, the bouquet, the whip, The clover, the fish, the man, the ring, and the mouse, the mice. Okay, now let me give you an overview and then go into depth of the themes in certain aspects of that are emerging and what they their characteristic of for the year 2017. Well, in terms of the new year, the actual beginning, you are blessed. The sun uh, card that you saw in the Lenormand is far more um, stronger. It's stronger than any other type of oracle deck that I've ever worked with, and uh, the tarot as well. This bright, this really shines brighter than any, and it has, it can um, negate. It can. Um, disqualify it can burn out any other negative energy that it's neat that's near it so you become you do enter the new year it is a new beginning and the new your new beginning and ending anything you decide to end will be born under that lucky star you will hear talk in 2017 and you will continue to hear talk of surprises. You're going to glean from the talk that you hear of certain things that will 
hit you as if they were surprises, pleasant surprises. Some of them may not be understood. The voices that you hear, the hearsay that you <laughs> are near, you will not understand that and it may cause some anxiety for you, but all in all, you will learn of secrets through talk in various different ways. There's also a, um, a, an end, I see the coming uh, to an end of health issues that you may have been experiencing in the year 2017. That is going to be resolved for you. Um, as for one form of communication, um, and precisely talk, and even pillow talk, let's put it that way. There are two things, two messages that I'm hearing here. One is that the communication will be leaving, leading to an established bond, and it will be leading right into the bedroom. It's as if the bedroom is one step to that, um, to that um, legal bond. And it seems that the communication becomes serious, more serious, and even more serious as the, the um, year progresses because you are concentrating. For those of you who ha are not partnered, you will be, and you will be looking for a partner. And in your mind, you're going to be preparing for a bond because that's what you really do want. Um, in terms of your work and livelihood, that is one area of your life that will be cause for concern because um, you will lose your sense of security. There are problems on the job or you don't have a job or you have lost a job and that will lead you to the idea of moving completely out of the position that you are in because you see some difficulty there or moving house, moving country, moving completely. In terms of guidance that uh, comes your way, what I'm seeing here for you, Leo, is that the messages you need, voices that you need to hear in terms of guidance, spiritual guidance, are close to the home, are close to you. You need to listen and ask as well. And matters of the home. On the one hand, where work uh, seems to be a difficult uh, moment for you, create some difficulty, the home. The, the relationships in the home, for those of you who have an established bond already, are going to be very strong and give you that sense of security. That is why when the work starts to peter out or is non-existent, the idea of moving home will create a bit of difficulty for you. The public life, um, being in the public, what do I see? I see a change there. A change where there's going to be uh, you, Leo, withdrawing a little bit because of difficulties that you have on the job. And you're going to sort of do a dance, coming into public life, out of public life, not wanting to see people, wanting to see people. And that is going to be uh, stop and go during, during the year. Obstacles. Obstacles, you know, it's funny, even though I mentioned the job, the difficulties, possible home move where you don't want to, and um, the public life hiding. What I'm seeing here in terms of obstacles, I'm seeing gifts, I'm seeing surprises, I'm seeing that you have things that just fall in your lap, which is good. Decisions that you have to take, as uh, the ones that I mentioned before, that is all going to be done by interacting with people close to you. What do you think if I should do this? Or a therapist, I'm having difficulty with this. I need help with this transition. But again, I have this, um, the, the, the house, the um, place, uh, that the card that talks about nuisances or problems or issues that will arise in 2017. I have luck. It's as if surprises, luck, come your way. And so, you know, there's this dance inward, outward, inward, outward, where the talk never stops. Even if you talk with your closest associates, your family members, your therapist, and it is seen from the outside public as a, a form of hiding, it's still these two positive solutions of what you consider as problems. Also, um, the idea of being self-employed and your own business for those of you who are already self-employed just let me um let me turn down the 
that, that the idea of being self-employed or your uh, own business, if you have it already, that is in a place where there's something, there's an incog incognito, okay, now, incognito is not the right word in, it, in English, but um, it is a question mark. It's a question mark for you because those of you who are thinking about um, opening your own business, you seem in 2017 to feel there are too many hidden factors. You don't have enough information to be able to do that. What a, what a sound that telephone had. I'm sorry about that. I had to shut that off. Um, as I was saying, your personal uh, business, for those of you who have businesses, there's something that is going to be hidden from you and you won't be able to move forward in that sense. Matters of communication. Um, whereas I talked about the pillow talk and communication leading you to an established bond, this has to do with matters of responsibility, your animus side, your male side, uh, taking matters into your hand. You, there's going to be a lot of that. Having to step up to your responsibilities, you're going to be called in to do that. Now, um, also in, in matters of the heart, okay, in matters of the heart, there is what we would call a something coming up. This is some matters for, for the males. I'm saying this more for the males than the females. There is walking toward an established bond, you know, making that, popping that question. And the female influences that you have, the side of that, you know, your anima side is going to be um, taking a little bit of, you should keep that you know, that emotional side, that intuitive side, that will get you in trouble, Leo, during the year 2017. Now, I'm going to take the runes and see where they lead us, except first let me give you a, a cross-section of the themes that come throughout, that arise during these um, this year, and it is a move, definitely, which is seen positively, which you will be talking about to others, and it will solve the issues that you're facing but the cards are telling you think hard and and wide think long about that move because it's not simply by changing channels that your problems will go away also um i mentioned um going to the altar or creating established an established bond that seems to be linked with matters of getting your own business, opening a new business. And and those are going to be um, concomitant aspects of your life that are going to be put on the scale. Let me take the runes now and see what they have to add. Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, I remember saying that matters of, of health will be coming to an end. Um, it's going to become, the, the issues that you have with your health are going to become, uh, are going to resolve themselves very, very difficultly. It will be ups and downs, ups and downs, but they will find a solution the year 2017. And the idea of guidance... Okay, the idea of guidance. There are two runes here. One is Kinats, Bright Stave, and one is Perdro, which is Merc Stave. Uh, the overall energy of Kinas, which is right here, is that you will have insight. You will have insight. Where is the insight not coming from? When you seek guidance from the your higher self or from a power that you feel is outside of your, um, uh, your range, outside of your depth. Um, this is something that will be for you. And I'm talking about Leo. Leo, it seems to you that you're reluctant to hand over or to believe that the higher power can have um, influence on your moving forward in terms of guidance. And you tend to have put a lot of um, uh, uh, importance, uh, invest a lot of importance in your own personal insight. 
Now, there's also the, the notion here around this notion of guidance and um, looking to a higher power. It, the rune here, Yera, is telling me that throughout the year, in time, that will change. The way you perceive, you, you know, uh, do we create our destiny? These are all questions that you're going to be asking yourself. Who is doing, who is pulling the strings? Strings. Am I the one ultimately to make decisions? Is there a higher plan? Is there a wider plan? This is going to be constant during the year 2017. I'm highlighting here the idea of the move. All right, the move. Um, I have tear merc stave, okay, tear merc stave over the ship, which is in the house of the sense of security. And I have here the mouse in the, with, with, um, with Anzus merc stave, which tells me that the idea of moving may not be as beneficial as you believe. There, you'll be hearing a lot of um, conversations, a lot of arguments against you moving. Okay, you'll be hearing because the decision um, house is with the communication. And that is, your decisions are safeguarded. That is, um, that I have no difficulty in accepting that and, and I feel confident about that. What I have here is your, you lead, how can I put it? You relying solely on your intuitions that will get you in trouble. There it is, okay? Where still you'll be battling it out with thinking, who's pulling the strings where? Where is it? Is it 50-50? Is there a higher power? Am I supposed to be? And that's going to follow you the whole year 2017, Leo. Let me take a check. I think I've done it all. Yes, I hope this was of help to you, Leo. Namaste until we read together again and have a great New Year's. Bye-bye.